everyone, today I'm doing a video totally about my perfume collection and doing a review on every single one. My perfume collection has definitely grown even in the last few weeks because I've been trying to make sure that I have a really well-rounded video for you. So as you can see, I've got a lot. I'm just going to get right into it and I think I'm going to start with Chloe, which I thought would be very fitting. This is the Chloe EDP. Throughout this video you will notice that I'm going to walk around in any way possible me having to pronounce um, French words. Chloe is a very clean, fresh and elegant scent. It smells a little bit like a very expensive soap. It's not very sweet at all. This perfume starts out quite sharp and crisp but then definitely mellows out and softens as you get some notes of the roses, there's lychee pink peonies and some other uh, really nice flowers. It's quite floral, but it's not very sweet. I would say this is suitable for a chic young woman. And I think it's more of a daytime scent as well. Next, moving over here to Gucci Guilty. This one I did not get very long ago, but look at how beautiful the bottle is. I'm so obsessed with it. If you can't already tell just by the bottle, this is a very glamorous and sexy smell. This one's got some mandarin, pink pepper, amber and patchouli, so it's got the sweetness but it's also got a bit of bite. It's a very, very sexy smell, quite heavy and sensual, and I think it's for a very confident girl. I'm going to take this one. This is Jimmy Choo Exotic. This one is so unique. It has a very strong top note of black currant. It's also got some raspberry in there, pink grapefruit for a little bit of a citrus scent, and then it's got passion flower and tiger orchid in there as well for a bit of an exotic influence. It's such a stunning perfume. Day or night, it's just very, I think it's very stylish and unique for the girl that wants to stand out a little bit. Um, it's perfect for that. Over here I've got C by Chloe. So C by Chloe is the much more funky brand that Chloe owns. This one's got the fresh and floral scents of apple blossom, jasmine and bergamot, but then it's also got some more woody scents like musk, vanilla and sandalwood. This one's suitable for day or night, a very confident girl that's energetic, um, you know, maybe good for the city life. I think that it's such a nice perfume, especially if your name's Chloe. <laughs> Next is my favorite perfume, it's Victor Rolf Flower Bomb Extreme. The Victor Rolf Flower Bomb Extreme is much more intense than the original. It's quite warm, it's oriental, and it's very, very sexy. Even though I do wear it in the daytime, I think it's most definitely a nighttime scent. And it's in this beautiful bottle shaped like a bomb or a grenade. And as you can see, I've um, pretty much used up all of it. It's got the sweet notes of bergamot and jasmine, but then it's also a little bit balmy, which I feel makes it um, seem very warm when you smell it. It's also got the spiciness, and it's got definite vanilla in it musk and patchouli. It's very, very sensual. <laughs> sensual. And then the regular flower bombs, much more softer than that. It's definitely a clean, uh, crisp smell. It's actually a little bit zingy. That's a good word for it. As soon as you smell it, you can smell the green tea, which of course gives it a very fresh feeling to it. And the floral notes are freesia, um, rose and orchid. I do know that. But then it's got musk and patchouli, which give it a bit more of an oriental flavor. It's in this beautiful bottle, again, like a little grenade. It's got a Victor Rolf tag on it, but mine came off this one because I keep it in my handbag. These perfumes are definitely for a very confident person, very passionate and a little bit out there and outrageous, I would say. And you could wear this one day or night, really. Then I've got some Yves Saint Laurent perfumes here. I've got the Manifesto and the Parisienne. This is the Manifesto, and I believe it's quite a new release. Not exactly sure where the name Manifesto comes from, but I really, really love this perfume. One of my favorites. It's very balmy and sensual. It smells a little bit spicy, but I don't think that's it. I just think it's so intense. I think that if you're quite young, I don't think it's going to suit you. I think that this is a nice, mature scent. I mean, not mature as in like, you know, old ladies wear this or anything. It's just very um, sophisticated and, um, yeah, sensual. This one's got the scents of black currant, jasmine, and lily of the valley, but then it ends quite woody and musky, and it really gives it an almost spicy smell, I think. It's just so strong at the end. So, yeah, it starts out like black currant and sweet, but then moves on to the woody notes. It's really, really nice for nighttime. And then the other one that I have from YSL is Parisienne. Parisienne is very romantic, it's youthful, it's chic, but it's got a bit of a rocker, um, you know, like dark romantic theme to it, I think. It's very cosmopolitan, but it's got the edge. It's actually got, um, in the base notes, I think you call it, it's got vinyl and lacquer smell, so it smells reminiscent of a cosmetics bag. 
just at the end, at the very end of the smell. Um, but it definitely starts out with some floral scents like rose, violet, peony, and then it's got some more berry notes like cranberry. And also musk and sandalwood, so it's a bit, you know, um, musky there. And it's in this beautiful bottle. Next I'm going to show you this beautiful one. It's Lady Million, which is really famous. Um, I think it's one of the top selling women's fragrance from the past few years or something like that. It's by Pekka Rabanne and it's, it's beautiful. Ooh, it's a very dazzling scent. It starts off with some bitter orange actually. It's a little bit bitter to start off and it's got some raspberry as well, which I think makes it very fresh and crisp. It's got those sharp notes. But then the sweetness really hits you. It's got orange blossom and jasmine in there as well as honey. It's just a very bewitching perfume. It's perfect for the glamorous woman. I mean, you can tell that by the bottle once again. I think that every single woman would like this perfume. Next is Versace Bright Crystal. It's a very fresh um, floral scent. It's actually not too sweet, I find. It's just very, yeah, fresh and floral, like a like a spring breeze or something like that. It really hits you with the, I think it's pomegranate notes. It definitely smells like grapefruit as well. It's got some of those grapefruit citrusy scents in there that really hit you when you first take a sniff. And then it moves on to some more floral. It's really floral. And of course the bottle is really beautiful. It's got this ginormous crystal on the top. And then Beyonce Heat, Jack bought me this I think a year ago for my birthday and I really wanted it for the longest time. This is a very um, sexy smell, I really like this smell, it's a bit warm, a bit spicy, sensual, sexy and definitely empowering which I read is what Beyonce kind of wanted the effect to be for this perfume. It's really really sweet, it's got vanilla in it but then also some nice um, fruity smells such as peach which is my personal favourite. Um, it, it ends really nicely as well with those woody notes which are milkwood and amber and this is a really nice perfume as you can see I've used it quite a lot. Um, definitely a nighttime scent, anything that's a little bit warm. Oh my god I don't think you meant to shake them. I, don't, I just did. Beyonce does great perfumes. Although I don't think she really does them, someone else does them and she just stamps her name on it. <laughs> Good old B. Miss Dior Cherie is something that I've had for a really long time and then I went and accidentally bought the Eau de Toilette instead of the EDP which I had before. So this is the Eau de Toilette and I don't use it as much for that reason because it just doesn't last as long. It's such a nice smell, it was my first love in a perfume that I really lusted for and saved up and bought um, and I really really love this. Oops, the bow's on back to front. This one's got all my favourite scents in there. It's got jasmine and mandarin so that it's nice and floral. But then at the very end you just get a little hint of musk and it almost smells a bit like candy. Like one of those musk candy um, lollies that you get. Oh god it's so delicious smelling. One of my favourites. I just haven't gotten around to purchasing another one because I've still got to get through this I guess. Right back here I've got VS Bombshell. My boyfriend's little sister Lucy bought this for me when she went overseas to Canada and this is a really nice um, scent for a girl of any age and it's the body mist version. It's a very fruity smell. It's got a lot of my favourites in there like pineapple, tangelo, strawberry and passion fruit so it's very fruity. It reminds me of you know a tropical island and it's a body mist so it's nice and light perfect for a summer's day when you don't want to smell too heavy. Again over on this side, this big bottle is Dot by Marc Jacobs. I'm actually not a fan of the bottle. Um, it's just too much. It keeps getting knocked over but the smell is really really nice. I think it's a new release. It's pretty cute. I mean this bottle would appeal to a lot of people but I'm not a big polka dot fan um, and it's made of like a plastic. I'm really scared of it breaking but I've dropped it three times already and it hasn't broken. This one's actually tropical. I feel like the bottle doesn't actually reflect the smell. I don't know, maybe it's just because I don't like the bottle. It's a very exotic smell and it's very, very um, fruity. It's got dragon fruit scent in it, honeysuckle, jasmine and orange blossom. It's got all the good scents in there um, that a young woman would want to wear and obviously it appeals to I think a younger audience because of the bottle. But then I feel like the exoticness not only comes from the fruits but also from the coconut musk and driftwood that's in this and it just makes a brilliant mix. Really really nice perfume, yeah, Dot by Marc Jacobs. Now I'm going to move on to Sean John Unforgivable Woman and Sean John is just P. Diddy. Unforgivable is a very intense scent, like you have to be very confident to wear it. I've had this for a long time but I still haven't used very much. Um, I mostly used it when I didn't have that much to my collection. Mega Oriental. Very sensual, extremely intense but there's some floral notes in there as well. It's got the bitter orange smell so it's quite sharp, 
not sweet. Very strong, quite heavy, and you really have to be quite confident to wear this. This pretty one at the front here that looks like a... I think it's meant to look like a natural crystal. This is Desio by JLo, and I really like JLo's perfumes. My friend, um... Ivana actually gave me this. This is such a really nice scent. Honestly, it is lovely. Um, JLo designed this inspired by her garden and it's very Mediterranean. It's lovely. Like a fresh summer breeze with, you know, flowers riding upon it. It's absolutely um, mesmerizing, really. I absolutely love to wear this. It's just very charming and something that I can wear for every day, even carry it through night. It's a lovely perfume that I think most girls should have. I haven't even seen much of this around, but um, it's a really nice perfume, JLo. I love what you did with it. Starts out fresh and breezy with some bamboo. Then it's got orange blossom and pink gardenia in it. And that's very, I think, um, Mediterranean. It takes me there to the blue ocean and um, reminds me of like Sicily almost. It's really um, unique and pretty. And I'll definitely be buying another one of those when I run out. Another JLo perfume that I have is Glow. And I only got this one really recently. It's very full, as you can see. And this one was only released in 2012. But, you know, the regular Glow was released quite a few years ago now it was really really popular this one's quite fresh and clean but it's also sexy and earthy at the same time if that's even possible it's got a floral woody and amber scent it's a very round and full scent really fills you up and I think that this would be suitable for really any woman someone that's probably caring and a bit more calm it's not like a diva smell you know what I mean jelly bean <laughs> and it actually lights up let me show you can't see me now, but it glows. It's awesome. JLo did a good job with that, and I love that it's um, got a bit of a novelty to it with the light. I think the only one I haven't spoken about is Prada Candy, and I only have the sort of travel size of this, I suppose. This is an awesome scent. It smells just like candy. Very, very sweet. I think it's got some mandarin and citrusy scents in there as well. And then a hint of musk. It's very sweet, reminiscent of a candy store. And this one comes in a beautiful little case so that when you're traveling, it's protected. I think it's very suitable for someone that is a bit high maintenance, if you know what I mean. Like someone that likes expensive things, likes smelling delicious, likes treating herself. Um, it's just a really delicious scent and it would really suit someone that's like me, likes material things. And that concludes my scent video and review it was probably mega long there are so many perfumes here i just love them and i love setting them up over my vanity they look so beautiful i love choosing which scent i'm gonna wear that day um and yeah it all depends each scent you know means something different it's something that i'll wear depending on my outfit my mood you know the time of day i love being able to customize it it's so fun and i just love receiving these as gifts as well as a gift perfume is probably the best thing that you could get me that's it from me guys i hope you enjoyed don't forget to leave my video a thumbs up and subscribe and of course leave a little comment let me know what your favorite perfume is because i'd love to try some new ones that i don't have in my collection i'll see you in the next video thanks for sticking through the whole way <laughs> bye